Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to turn a PNG image into an SVG file. This works with any PNG image at all. It works with JPEG images too. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this PNG of a little cow and we're going to turn it into an SVG. And the way we do that is by going to this website, png2svg.com. You pull that up and um, you'll get to this page that looks like this. If you scroll down, you'll see this box here that says choose a file. So um, you can drag and drop or you can go search for your file. I'm going to click choose a file and I'm going to go find that little cow I just had. There he is. And it will put it in here for me. Okay, now it's looked at this um, photo and determined that it has five different colors. But I'm going to double check this. I've got one, two, three, four, five. I have six different colors. So I'm going to bump this to six. And then I'm going to make sure each of these is correct. I'm going to click the first one get my little dropper here and click on the black to make sure that's correct. White, white, pink, pink. This darker pink needs to be this one. This gray, I'm going to go ahead and change to this little color on his belly. That didn't work. Well, you go to that color. And then this gray, I'm going to change to these ear colors here. I still don't know if this got it. Let me see. I think that is correct. So once you've got everything looking the way you think it should, you're going to come down here to generate. And then if you give it a minute, it's making the SVG file for us it's going to pop up over here when it's all done. Yes, those are the colors that I needed. So everything looks right over here to me. This is the SVG that I want. I'm going to click download SVG. Okay, so here's my image right here. Um, depending on your computer and the program that you're using, it might save somewhere else. Just go find it where you've saved it and put it into design space. So here I have design space going to upload. I'm going to go find where I put that file and mine is in my download folder. There it is. Here it is. Okay, so let's save. There's that guy. We're going to insert him into the project. Okay, now that was free, that was quick, and that was easy. So it's not perfect. We're going to have to clean this up a little bit. Uh, ungroup your image and just start separating it out and you can see like this right here all these tiny things that we don't want all we want here is the pink of the belly so with this highlighted I'm gonna click contour I'm gonna hide all the contours and it will hide everything but one contour it picks the biggest of them all and that's the only one we want available so we're done we've hidden all those little tiny dashes all those little tiny things and all we have left is the pink tongue so we can close that out and if you look over here or it's his belly not his tongue um, all that's left is that pink belly so I can hide that I'm done with it the same with these these are the little spots on his cheeks but you can see it's got all this other stuff in here so again I'm going to contour hide all contours and this time we wanted both of these pink dots we wanted both of the dots on his face. So if I just click this, I now have both of them showing. They're both going to be in my project and everything else is hidden. And that's what we want. So there's his little cheeks. I can hide that. Okay, this one here, again, there's some stuff down here we don't want. Contour, hide all contours. And the only thing left is um, the big piece of his face that we do want. And if you ever want to double check what you've got, you can um, minimize the size and see what's going on over here. Okay, so his face is done. Let's see here. 
these little antlers. It doesn't look like there's any extras on there, but I'm going to hit contour and it just has the two antlers, so it's good to go. We can hide that. The black and the white parts. Okay, the black parts look good. I don't see any extras on there, but just a quick scroll shows me that we are good. Hide this guy. Now this one, it's almost perfect, but I want to get rid of this little black thing here and this little black thing here. So I'm going to hit my contours, and instead of hitting hide all, because there's a lot in here, I'm just going to kind of scroll, and I can click it from here. Get rid of that one, and get rid of that one. And you can see down here it grayed out those two parts, and now he's good to go. Okay. Let me put everything back in, and we'll piece this guy together. Okay, the mouth is underneath this, so I want to move this layer to the back. Arrange, send to back, and now we can see the mouth. Okay, so there it is, it's all done. But there are a couple other little things that you can do to this. Um, let's say you want this black to be a solid background so you're not having to piece so many individual pieces together. Well, what we can do, let me hide everything but the black that we're working with. Okay, we can go and pull in the original file that we had, the original PNG. So let's upload, upload an image. Let's go find that original file. There he is, okay. I always hit complex. This isn't going to be a complex image, but I do it anyways. Hit continue and just continue. We're not messing with this at all. What we want is this solid background. So let's save this as a cut image, save, and now we're going to have a solid black background. Select it and insert it into your project. It's huge, right? So what you want to do, click this guy and you can see he is 5.557 inches wide. So you want this guy to be 5 point, what was it, 775 inches wide, or was it 557? 5.557, okay, let me get that back, 5.557, okay, now, yep, that's going to be perfect, so we can delete this, and we can pull in all of our other parts, and we can start layering everything, I want this to be my base layer, so I'm going to send it to the back, and then his ears can go on, and his white parts can go on. Let me, hold on, move these guys off. Okay, now his white parts can go on. Try to line that up. And we'll put his nose or his mouth and his belly. And his cheeks. Now you'll notice we're missing his smile. That's because we closed up the contour in this um, pink layer here. But if I open it back up, I've got my pink layer highlighted. I selected it from my pane over here. Hit contour. And if I open this mouth part back up, you can see he now has a mouth because it cut the mouth out of the pink. So you can see the black behind it. That's what happened there. Okay, so that's it. You can use any PNG, any SVG at all and make it an SVG, uh, put it into Cricut Design Space and create your own designs. Um, but I do wanna say again, since this was free, cheap and easy, it's not perfect. You will always, always have cleanup to do and in most cases, you will want to pull in your original PNG to get this thick, solid background 
Um, it's just going to be easier in most cases to work with that than piecing every little piece together. All right, that's all we've got. We'll see you next time.